So Dave, again, getting ready for another tough fixture to come, no doubt about that. It's a heavy set schedule of fixtures at the moment. But I'm sure one thing that you really hope will happen from weekend is that your players can get some belief out of a performance against one of the big clubs. Hello, the performance was good. So it's after the game and I'm seeing it back, it's I'm changed my thinking. You know, we had some the, the really crucial moments of the game. We, we didn't take advantage of. Um, we, we were good. Um, against, the, against the, you know, we played a, a different way. We don't normally play like that. It's a bit easier um, away from home to to, to do that. Um, you know, so we've got to make sure um, we're at home and the, the initiative is is on us. Um, you know, so we. You know, I look back and I go. We should have definitely got something out of the game, probably all three points, but you know, some are a good team and they make three changes with three good players and you know, Alex said to me after the game they, they, were, they were really pleased that the subs made, made the difference and they did because we were comfortable um, and we, were, we had the better chances in, in the game up to that point. So, you know, we've got to be a bit more clinical, but if we perform like we, we performed on Saturday, then we've got you know, we'll, we'll always be in games and we've got to then make sure we take our chances when they come along. Yeah, that's the cruel side of it, that you got nothing out of the game, it was another defeat chalked up on that on that column. How, in the short space of time, can you, you know, get into your players that the performance was good, but we've got to get that mindset right to try and win a game? Yeah, I think, I think if, if you're performing well, that gives you belief. Like, you know, your first question was sort of intimating that, I think. So we've got to make sure that that's... You know, that's what's instilled in the players, that's what the players understand. Um, football, well, I suppose sport, is fine margins and we come out on the wrong side of the fine margins on Saturday. And if we do um, a bit better on, on that side, then yeah, we, we, will, we will win games of football against good teams. I think we've been saying the same, same question for about the last four or five weeks, it's still eight points that gap, it hasn't gone away from you. No. It is a tall order, games are running out, but it's not impossible. No, it, no it's, not, it's definitely not impossible. And like you say, you, you, you see our performance, anyone who went to the game on, on Saturday, like I said, the fans stood there and clapped us off because I think they saw a, a good performance, even, even though it resulted in no points. And I appreciate, you know, we, we might take a, a poor performance with three points at the minute, but. You know, you, while ever the performances are there and, and lads are improving, then we've got to we've got to retain that belief. There's no reason not to retain that belief. You know, I, I left, you know, the Sunderland on Saturday going, yeah, that's that, that, that's that's on the right track. But a shadow of a doubt, going to a big pitch, thirty thousand crowd, and you know, big club, and we've got another big club coming to us and. You know, not quite as big a pitch, not quite as big a crowd. Um, and we've got to make sure we perform again in a different way. Um, and that's, that's where we've got to, go, uh, you know, got, got, to, got to maintain that level. You said just a, a minute ago that you changed your way a little bit of how you played. Do you think that's got to be something that you've got to bring into your game? I know it was away from home, but what I'm trying to say is you have to become a bit more defensive minded, a bit more ugly. Uh, to, to mix up with the, the football that you've got that can get you those wins that you're looking for? <coughs> I, think, I think we've got to find a way and if that's the way then I'm all for it. If it's another way then I'm all for that as well. Um, you know, beggars can't be choosers in that sense. Um, we, you know, we've got to, the bottom line is we've got to find a way to win. Um, in my view we should have won on Saturday. We had three or four great chances. And we didn't take them. Was there were there free flowing moves and you know thirty passes goals? No, they weren't. We're not there yet. We're not going to be there for for a while yet. But we're going to we're on the right track. That's for sure. Because we'll continually um, ask them to do that. But when we get there, we'll have a bit of both. And at the minute, we've got to make sure that we can play a bit of football when we need to play a bit of football. But score goals in different ways and. You know that's that comes from what you saw on Saturday, being that defensive-minded shape, and you know we're, we're playing at the top. We second, second, mm. we're playing second in the league on on 
tomorrow night, and we've got to make sure that we we are hard to beat. You mentioned that, and I was just going to bring in that when you look at what you're playing against in this last few weeks and what's coming up in the next couple of weeks, it really shows the calibre that League One is in. But you've got a set of young players up against them players as well. The likes of Defoe I'm talking about, the likes of Vokes, the likes of Stewart, coming, McGuinness and Will Keane and things like that. What can that all do as you go forward? Well, I think you saw the, the, one of the most pleasing things for me um, last Saturday was how our back three handled Ross Stewart compared to George Hurst in, in the week. Um, we'd worked with him on Thursday and I thought they were very good. And we've got to make sure that they understand and that, that development keeps happening, you know, all over the pitch, not just back three or one play in particular. You know, and, and there's loads of little bits like that. Um, so whether it's Will Keane, Josh McGuinness, Stephen Humphreys, um, this week or tomorrow, you know, who have we got Saturday? Bolton? No. You know, back of Yorko, doesn't matter who it is for them. Um, we've got to make sure that we've got the answers and our players understand that they can do it because like you say, that's what we strive to do so that then it becomes that innate um, quality that they've got and, and that's what we're striving for. Good fixture though, Wigan, for you. I know it's difficult, but it's a good fixture. You know, they come in because they'll want three points, they want to be automatic motion, you want three points to get get back on the on the winning track. They certainly know how to win away from home. I think they've only lost two games away from home this season. It's not a bad record, is it? No. Gotta make it three. You're pretty close with Wigan, aren't you? You're pretty close with you've played in friendly games and you yeah, know yeah. their staff and they look as though they're heading back for the championship, do you think? <clears throat> I think I, I think them and we, uh, Rotherham are um, the best two teams in the league. And, and I, I think they'll both go up. But that, that means that we're going to roll over tomorrow night. We, if we play as well as we did against Sutherland and, and take our chances, then we'll you know we'll, we'll give anyone a game in this league. What about your What about your injury problems? Can you just it might take ages. It might take a couple of hours, but let's let's try and narrow it down in terms of Ben Knight, Scott Robertson, Raya and Alabisu. Are, are they still around or have they no, gone back? No, no, no. no, Ben will be back soon. Ryan's gone back. Scott's on an operation tomorrow in London. He's gone back. I, I don't. I don't. I just answer the questions. If I spoke, like I say, if I spoke about. Injuries, that could be a for two hours. Mm. I don't mention injuries. We've had a long list of injuries for a long time and it's crippling us, but there's no point talking about them because I'd much rather talk about the players that are, are playing for this football club and are available and, and are in the trenches because they're, the, they're the most important ones. So just wrapping it up, there's nobody close. You mentioned them three longer term, but you, you aren't getting ready to welcome anybody back. And you're talking to Graham after the game at Sunderland about the restructuring behind the scenes. Can you just, just, just tell us a bit more about how that's going to help you <coughs> yeah. this summer and go forward? Well, the, the, first, the first thing to say is that Kenny, you know, the, um, the chairman's been um, understanding of, of where we're at and, and, and the board and have placed more resources into the first team, uh, staffing structure, if you like. Um, Kenny's going to have a greater inf uh, influence and effect on, you know, individual players. We've got a lot of young players. I don't know, but I would imagine we're the youngest team in the league. Um, you know, and getting the individual player development is, is really important. Um, so he'll have one or two bits um, that you go, well, you don't really need to do that, but you really need to focus on this. So... so um, you know, and, and he's excellent at that. He's really good at that. So it will suit um, suit Kenny to, to do that. That's for sure. Um, Alex is is ready to, to to step up, and and between them, you know, with myself, um, you know, we, we hopefully will get the games right as well. Um, obviously, Lee Bell will be acting 23s manager. Um, and, and we'll, you know, he's ready. He's done his time at the 18s, and obviously, you, you know, there's there's job adverts for heads of recruitment and and data analysts to help on that side. So, 
you know, rather than rather than doing it all, now we're going to try and oversee it all. Um, you know, and I think that's a real positive step for everyone. You know, Kenny's new role is vital to this football club, and he's going to be entrusted with a huge responsibility. Alex is um, ready to do. Let's call them more pressurised games, if you want, for a better term. Uh, and obviously, you know, if Lee does get the job, then he'll he'll be stepping up one, all coupled with the fact that there's another strand, um, you know, in terms of recruitment. You know, it, it took us a while to get to this point. We, we were looking at this in August, believe it or not, and then we had a a real serious look in November. Um, to get to this point, it's, we're not about you know, throwing the baby out with the bathwater or anything like that. It's how we can all get better in what um, each and everybody's qualities um, suit to the roles, if you like, um, to get the best out of the staff member and also you know, the best for the players, which ultimately, because you've got to be the best for the football club. That's the, the, the reasons. And uh, and we hope we you know we've got it right.